everybody, welcome back to the show. One of my favorite things on the planet is race car driving. And I believe one of our guests that uh, we're about to interview actually taught you how to race yes, car drive. Yes, did, on an actual racetrack with an actual real race car. Very nice. Well, oh. Tony Morris Jr. and Lawrence Howlett are teammates and race car drivers, and they're uh, with us on location at TBC Indoor Racing in Richmond. We're going to trade some paint with the boys and see who comes up on top. Let's go. So why not on the hottest day of the year yet get our two guests to put on their fire retardant suits? You yeah. guys comfy? Yeah, I am. <laughs> great here. Safety Beautiful. first, Lawrence Howlett and Tony Morris Jr. Of course, they are on the Seattle Tool Racing Team. Gentlemen, how are you? Great, great. I, I also want to point out that I'm standing up on a curb as well because uh, <laughs> if I don't, oh, that's what happens right there. Tony, great to see you again, man. Yeah, thanks for having me back. You're about to leave for Edmonton. Uh, you won the race in 2007. How'd you do last year? Last year we finished second overall with Performance Racing as well, and uh, we're really excited to be going back there this year with Seattle Tools and Performance again. And this car sitting behind us, this beautiful black beast here, is a brand new, uh, brand new Steve built, uh, brought by uh, Performance. 550 horsepower. Okay, oh. 550 horsepower for those that may not uh, be doing the math. How fast can this thing go? What do you think, Laura? Well, it'll do 200 miles an hour, 300 kilometers an hour. <laughs> so, you know, given the, the appropriate track, we'll probably hit uh, 170 in Edmonton at the end of the straight wow. miles an hour. Um, yeah, things come at you pretty quick at those speeds. Now it's tell good us fun. about some of the more uh, some of the modifications on uh, your cars here that you have for First this kind of, all, of race and this kind of modification speed. right there. The lights. Yeah, headlights. those headlights are functional. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, they don't your cast head. a yeah. very bright beam though. <laughs> it's as as we talked about last year with uh, the car previous to this. Uh, it is a fiberglass body. Yeah. Um, basically, if you took this body off, it's it's, it's a bunch of tubes, um, which are put there That's both correct. for yeah both for uh, you know holding the suspension and holding the engine in and yeah. what have you. Look but at also, the tires. What yeah. kind of tires are those? Those are they're Goodyear uh, uh, race slick. 550 horsepower motor. How much does this thing weigh? Uh, 2,450 pounds, and so, you know, so that that makes it really light. It's about the weight of a Honda Civic. So and you have to have some things working with you to keep this on the ground, absolutely. like quite literally. You know, the, the great thing for Junior and I is we've got uh, our crew chief this year is Roy Gangdahl, who is uh, three years with Roger Penske in NASCAR and two years with Chip Ganassi as Juan Montoya shock absorber guy. So, so he. He's dialing these babies in and, and using their Seattle tools to do it. Yeah, yeah. The whole shop is full of Seattle tools now, and we're, we're very happy about that. But what they've done is it's basically a tube frame that's as stiff and strong as can be, and all they're concerned about is keeping those tires stuck to the ground and the driver safe in the event something goes wrong. What do these buttons do? Yeah, well, I mean, you've got your fuel pump button, uh, your ignition buttons. You've got a variety of fans and, and such that uh, help keep the car cool. Uh, you've also got uh, tail lights Sorry, sorry, well. cool for you guys or cool no, for keeping the, the car cool. <laughs> right, yeah, no, <laughs> nobody cares about us. No, <laughs> nobody no. Nobody cares about you guys being no, cool. No, it, no, it, no. It should be in the neighborhood of about 120 to 130 degrees uh, inside the car during the race. And in these suits, uh, it yeah. gets pretty darn warm. So. so are you guys, you guys have two cars in the race? Yeah, we Identical. have actual, yep, exactly, sister cars. With Seattle Tools and Invis, so uh, we're pretty excited so about that. So how much of this, uh, I mean, you always hear about this in, in racing, that idea of teamwork, uh, but I think people don't really, and I know I don't, you know, it, well, it, it sort of seems every man for himself, but how much... It's huge, you know, you, you look at the Canucks or any sport that's a team sport, and we all have a pretty good understanding of that. Uh, we're nothing without a car that performs properly, and that's a crew that can dial the thing in so that it works well. Uh, you get to the track, and you've got to learn a track. Last year was my first time running in Edmonton, Junior took me around the track, said, well, this is what gear I'm running here, this is what I'm doing here and here, and uh, that brings me up to speed quicker and allows me to perform better. And so, you know, this year we're hoping that we can be, you know, one, two, three with performance racing. Now, you guys have your race coming up in Edmonton, of course, but you have a charity event in uh, September. Tell us about that. Yeah, we're really excited to, that we're coming back for the second annual, uh, actually, it's now called the BMW Store. Children's Charity Grand Prix. Nice. Um, yeah, yeah, Rocky. That's where I bought my car. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> out, out at Rivers Edge uh, Raceway, uh, we raised uh, thirty thousand dollars for the BC Children's Hospital and the Children's Wish Foundations last year. We've added another charity this year called Steve's Dream, and uh, we're going to be out there again. We got ten thousand dollars prize money as we did last year. Can we fire this bad boy up? So I've just got to get myself some oil pressure here. There we go. We got the oil pressure, so we can get the ignition on and get ready. But one thing that we definitely like to do before we go racing 
is we like to do a little bit of go-karting. Yeah, you want to race? Yeah, we go, well, you, you guys want to throw I, down? I figured, I figured seeing as we were down here at TBC, indoor karting. Let's do it. Uh, if we get beat, are you guys okay for heading for Edmonton and yeah. racing? Yeah, I love Edmonton. Next weekend? That'd be awesome. I love Edmonton. Right, I'm sure no seat, one so. would notice if we traded places. <laughs> <laughs> Blonde hair flowing from my helmet. That's yeah. Is my hair showing? A little bit of pressure here for Mike to perform. I brought you my lucky red gloves. Oh, hey. Those were the winning gloves, OMP gloves that I was wearing during the 07 Indy. This means I'm, I'm Junior's guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not not guy. His uh, yeah. choice to win. <laughs> All right. Uh, Tony's got some advice for us. What's your advice here? Well, I would say, um, seeing as it's your first time here, uh, your best bet is to really uh, try to go as fast as you possibly can <laughs> right off the bat. Okay. <laughs> this is when I die. We're going to the front, baby. We're going to the front. We hit, we hit him already. Thanks, guys. We are the champions, my friend. Relinquish my ride in Edmonton. And <laughs> thank you, Tony and Lawrence. They will be racing at the Edmonton Indy, July 24th through the 26th. Sports Car Club of British Columbia will be presenting a charity event at September 19th at the Mission Raceway. If you want to go support. And uh, head out to Richmond and oh, try out fun. a little bit of racing. It is, I'm not going to lie, that was really fun. It's really fun. We're going to uh, take a break. And up next, uh, we will be joined by Jeff Dawson, record producer, to talk about a great fundraiser uh, that the Vancouver Music Community is putting together. You can buy memorabilia from ACDC, Metallica, Brian Adams, Bare Naked Ladies, and 